Hey everyone, so I have another quick layout for you. Um, I've been doing a lot of really fast layouts lately. This here, I'm just um, getting the date from the back of the photo and putting that on my roller stamp so that I can be ready with the date when I'm ready for journaling. So my background paper is from Chamel's um, box of crayons. And that little, I made a little frame out of a six by six uh, paper from the Good Vibes collection paper pad. And so it's kind of like just a Polaroid frame. I just cut an opening for my photo and I'm just taping it, taping the back so that the photo will stay where I want it. And this is perfect for using up some washi tape. <laughs> So, um, I have this photo and then I have another photo of my daughter in costume and that one I also made kind of a Polaroid frame with some glittery paper. And that other one is from the DCWV um, glitter 6x6 stack and I love that hot pink glitter. It's one of my favorite colors. So for Halloween last year, uh, my daughter had a costume and um, she was supposed to be Rey from Star Wars. And we had a, an event one night before Halloween and she decided she wanted to be Wonder Woman. So she got, she had this little cape, um, with Wonder Woman's little emblem or symbol in the back. And so I made her the crown and the cuffs out of scrapbooking paper. So that was, <laughs> that was nice to be able to use my supplies um, in that way. So, um, I'm just documenting, you know, being able to make her a costume um, last minute. <laughs> so I'm using a lot of Chamel's box of crayons because she has a lot of um, stickers in there that talk about creativity and being crafty. So I figured it was a perfect... Um, a perfect way to use those things. So here, um, I'm just adding some random paper strips. I just had, I have um, the tops of my paper pad papers and um, branding strips from pattern papers. And I just cut little pieces and I'm looking for a washi tape that I can use here too. And this one's from the Oh My Heart sticker book. Yes, and so it's see-through enough that it blends in just a bit, but um, it also stands out. You, it doesn't get completely lost in there. This die cut, the awesome die cut, is from Chamel's uh, Box of Crayons Ephemera. And so is this journaling card with the crayons. So this little light bulb I thought was appropriate because it says idea on it. I thought this would be a good way to use it because it was her last minute idea that she wanted to be Wonder Woman. And so I thought, yes, I can do that. <laughs> I can make that happen. I'm trying to decide where these tabs are going to go. The black one says hashtag style. And the uh, teal one says, hashtag heck yes. So I thought the teal one would go better in the photo because um, the words in this paper are teal already. So it wouldn't stand out much if I put it up there. So I think I'm gonna put these things um, around the journaling card and this little hand. When I first saw these hands in the collection, I thought, well, what am I gonna do with these little hands? Like, 
I was a little stumped. But then when I'm making a layout about being creative, um, they come in really handy. <laughs> so, yeah, don't be put off by those little hands in this collection. You can totally use them up. So up here, I'm trying to find a little sticker to put here. Um, I'm not happy with this one because it's too... It just blends in too much. I like this one a lot better. It's a rainbow inspiration. And I'm trying to lift up the little hand very carefully. I, I did wrinkle the finger a little bit there. I'm trying to lift it up just a little to tuck in this camera. And I love how there are a lot of different kinds of cameras and camera stickers on um, Chimel's collections. Because you yeah, can always find a way to use one. Um, so here, I'm going to try really hard to put this little hand holding the brush in a place where it doesn't create trapped space. So that there's like um, a way like if anything was to fall in between that little brush and the journaling card, there would be a way to like take it out right there through the red paper and back out to the layout so that it doesn't feel like um, like a blank space that was accidentally left blank so I I don't know I just try to be careful about that um, I like this the way this looks a lot better than if I would have moved the brush up higher and then that space in between the brush and the journaling card was trapped there so, yeah, if you look look out for that on your own layouts and see what you feel comfortable with. So now my journaling is done, which means this is near the end of the layout. Because the last thing I do is play around with embellishments just to finish it off. And these gold ones are from the embellishment pack. So I'm trying to make a little visual triangle to guide your eye through the layout. So you see the three gold things kind of guide your eye down and towards the journaling. Um, I did add a couple more things, so stay tuned to the end so that you can see my finished um, layout. I did some doodling and added just like a few little enamel dot hearts here and there. So thank you guys so much for watching. See you again soon. Bye!